hey y'all welcome back to my channel um and if this is your first time seeing me welcome welcome um i only have one video out so this probably is your first time seeing me but i know a lot of people uh came over here from cassandra's channel so i just want to say thank y'all so much for the support i was not expecting to get that much support on my first video so shout out to y'all and shout out to my girl um today i just wanted to do like a a little get to know me video so y'all can get to know me and yeah let's get right into it so i watched another girl's youtube video to get some question ideas because i really didn't know what to answer um her youtube name is shun cook the question she had on her video i just uh, jotted most of them down so i can answer them as well and yeah let's get started What's your first name? Cause y'all know my YouTube channel name is Beauty and the Booha. That's not my name. So my first name is Aaliyah. Yeah. It's a L I Y A H. To the L I Y A H, but it's one A. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Neptune, New Jersey. Um, I have appreciation for where I'm from, especially because I could just walk to the beach whenever. That's something I really do miss. Um, we're living in Jersey. Uh, where do you currently live? Currently, I live in Delaware, and that's where I met my girl Cassandra at. Um, it's cool. It's not really much to do, but Philly's right there, and I met a lot of, um, I met a lot of dope people here. But I do plan on moving somewhere else. I really do want to move to Atlanta or to California. Or even out the country, girl. I'm trying to go out the country. Y'all trying to go with me? Because I'm... I'm <laughs> the way it's looking, I'm out. I'm out. Who was your first best friend? Honestly, my first best friend was my sister, Essence. Hey, girl. If you watching, what's up? What's up? Um, gang shit. But, um... Yeah... But don't get it twisted, like I'm really close to my brothers too. But you know, like when you're growing up and you're younger, usually like girls wanna do like girl stuff and kick, we used to kick my brother Terry out, sorry Ty. But yeah, so my first best friend was really my sister. But besides that, it was this girl named Tiana when I was like two or three in daycare. If I have a picture, I'm gonna insert it here. I haven't talked to her since, I don't know what's going on in her life, but. I hope she's doing well. Shout out to you, girl, if you ever see this. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Um, sometimes I feel tall and sometimes I feel short, depending on who I'm standing next to. Um, it's weird because my sister, she's only five foot and I'm so much taller than her, but it's like, how did that happen? And both my parents, like they're not really tall, but my aunts and uncles are, so I think that's where I get it from. But yeah, I wish I was taller so I can uh, be a runway model. And I just, you know what, I just feel like that shouldn't even be a thing anymore, but it kind of still is. So I just wish I was like, you know, like five, 10. But it's okay, cause I'm gonna get there. Y'all gonna see me on runway. Uh, dogs or cats? I love all animals. I really do love all animals. Um, I have one dog and one cat, but I really am a cat person. I just love, love cats. The thing I like about cats is that they really feel your energy. So if they don't really rock with you, it's because you're either giving them a weird vibe or you have weird energy yourself. Cats are actually very powerful and they can feel things. So I don't know. I just feel like they have a bad rep. Like, you know, cats are beautiful. You know what? I'm about to show you my cat. I'll be right back. So this is my cat. Her name is Yami. She always likes to go on the right side of my shoulder. I don't know why. Say hi, baby. <laughs> so this is my baby, Yami. I love her. She's the sweetest cat ever. She doesn't ever show any aggression at all. Look at her. Yeah, that's my baby. And Cinnamon, that's our dog. She's outside right now, so I can't see her, but I'll show y'all one day. Hey, baby girl.
What is your favorite drink? Um, I don't know if y'all talking about a drink drink or just a drink, a better, like a regular, <laughs> regular drink. But y'all gonna say I'm boring, but my favorite drink is like really water. Like I, that's, if you know me, that's, you know, that's what I mostly drink is water. But if you're talking about a drink drink, I'll take a margarita. What is your spirit animal? Um, I would say a panther because I just, I don't know. I, there's something about them. Like uh, they're just mysterious and the way they carry themselves. And they're just so beautiful and regal and i and but but they like they'll fuck you up if they have to yeah and also butterflies um i know that's not an animal that's insect but butterflies oh my god what about butterflies is one a lot of the times if you have loved ones that pass away um they can come to you in forms of butterflies and I always have butterflies around me, which I love. Um, I believe that they're my ancestors watching over me. And what else I love about them is like, they transform. Everybody has a time when they're like, you know, in their own little cocoon. And then if you do what you gotta do, you're gonna come out of that cocoon and be a butterfly. So I'm in my butterfly stage right now. You're wearing perfume, what scent is it? I would say definitely like a warm, sugary scent. Um, I love the smell of vanilla or like sugar cookies. It's like warm, like just warm scents, just like yummy, yummy scents. Just, just yummy scents. I love that. Um, tea or coffee? Tea. Definitely tea. I love tea. I love herbal tea. Um, what I love about tea so much is that it's good for you. I like different herbs and everything like that. So, um, yeah, like you drink tea and it's just like, it's just that vibe. You know what I'm saying? I just got some new tea, so I'm about to show you. Okay. Well, this one is just um, a cozy chamomile tea. It's just pure, uh, you know, chamomile in here, chamomile in here. And yeah, I just feel like, like chamomile is like really relaxing, whatever. I just like to, um, I usually drink this in the morning. And then I got this new one from Yogi and I've, I like this brand. I always like this brand, so um, I decided to get it when I was in Walmart the other day. And this one has organic lavender, organic lemon, vanilla, and honey. So yeah, it's supposed to be like a stress relief one. And so we'll see, we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> Cause sometimes girl, you girl be stressing. Girl be stressing sometimes. Um, what sports did you play or have you played? I've done cheerleading. Well, that was in elementary school. Um, I ran track and I was on a step team as well. And the step team was the truth. Shout out to the gifted arts. What is your idea of a dream date? Um... I don't think I have like an idea of a dream day. I just really like things that are thoughtful or things that like we can do that that's just not sitting there like at a movie or something like that. Yeah. I don't have an idea of a dream day. Like if you do something like that, if it's thoughtful, I'm going to appreciate it. Like I'm going to love it. Even if it says we're going to the park and we have a picnic and um, you write me a letter or something like I'm going to appreciate that. How long was your longest relationship? Um, I think my longest relationship was about about three years. Yeah, about three years. 
How would you describe your fashion sense? Um, I don't have one. Like, I don't have like a certain, I don't have a certain style. But right now, I don't even dress how I really want to. But wait till I get like, you know, I feel like um, I'm a person that likes to usually save more than I spend. But I told myself that I'm going to start spending more money on clothes and like really get into my, um, you know, really get into how I like to dress. But the thing is, I don't have a certain style. I like to be girly. I like to be like tomboyish i could whatever it's really like whatever i'm feeling that day like whatever i'm feeling that day that's what i'm gonna go for what is your go-to hairstyle okay so when my hair was like the length of this wig i would always go for um a, a ponytail or a bun because nobody has time for that um or a wash and go but now that my hair is like in a um like in the middle stage I usually do a wash and go, or I have it braided up and I put a wig on. But it's getting a little longer now, so now I'm able to like get into a little struggle ponytail. So I do that now sometimes, or um, the two braids like I did in my like last video. How many siblings do you have? I have three, so it's four of us. Um, I'm the second oldest. My brother Tony is the oldest. We have a set of twins, Essence and Tyree. And I'll have them in my videos too. Like my family is crazy and they're the closest people to me. So they're gonna be in a lot of my videos, definitely. Uh, what is your most memorable, memorable vacation memory? Um, I've never been on a, like a real, like I've never been on vacation, so I don't have one. I don't have one yet. Um, yeah, but I plan, it's crazy because I was actually supposed to go on my first trip to Mexico. I was supposed to go to Cancun this year in April, but you know, you know what's going on and things like that. Um, but yeah, we never really like went on vacations growing up and stuff like that you know my mom and my dad had to do what they had to do um but the thing that i love about my mother and my father too when we would um go to see him as well like as a kid i wasn't even thinking about that like a lot of kids going to disneyland disney world stuff like that but like my parents really held it down like um they would make things fun and they would really spend quality time with us to the point where we didn't think we was missing out on anything. Like, we didn't even realize like, oh, they can't afford, like we can't afford to go on vacation. I didn't care about that. I still don't care about that because now I'm grown. I'm gonna go on um, vacations. And then when I have, when I get money, I'm taking them on vacation and I cannot wait. I'm gonna spoil my parents to death. And like, that's really one of my main goals in life oh my god just to give back to them like i can honestly cry right now but i'm not going to yeah i'm not about to yeah so next question uh what is something about you that we probably don't know something about me that y'all probably don't know is that i'm really weird as shit like a lot of people but the thing is like maybe when i get more comfortable on camera like i could show that side i don't know if it's a scorpio in me that's like all oh, like serious and stuff but no, like, I be bugging out. <laughs> like, it's just fun. And it's so crazy because um, when people like really get to know me, they be like, yo, yeah, I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even know you be like, I didn't even know you be like one time, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't know. I just, um, not that I'm like a super private person, but I just have to be comfortable around you to like start tweaking. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, so if you've seen that side of me, you know you're close to me. The next question is, are you in college? No, I'm not in college. I actually would have graduated um, this year, but I dropped out my sophomore year. And it's not because I didn't have good grades or anything like that. I had a 3.8 in college, but I don't know. I just feel like it's not for me. Like, I just, uh, 
I really love to be creative and um, I just feel like I wasn't fulfilling my purpose where uh, in, in school, I was going to school for a global business and it's just, I don't know, it just wasn't for me. Like, and then it, what's ironic is that um, when I moved here to Delaware, if you know anything about Delaware, Delaware has um, a lot of like the major, uh, like major banks, like major corporations. Like either their headquarters are here or um, a lot of their corporate buildings are here. So I worked for a few corporate buildings since I've been here. And um, I was working with people that had college degrees and I don't have a college degree. So I just was like, dang, I really didn't need that. I really don't need that. But that's not even what I wanna do. So yeah, um, yeah, no, I'm not in college. The last question is, what's your biggest goal? So my biggest goal is literally to teach people, like to be a teacher, to enlighten people. Um, whether it's teaching them about spirituality, I'm also a healer. So, um, you know, I love to put, it like really warms my heart when I get like people on, on um, Instagram DMing me like, oh you're the reason why i started my spiritual journey or they come to me and ask me questions about something that i posted or something that i do like just on a regular day-to-day -day basis or whatever like that to me really makes a difference so i guess i kind of am already living out my goal but i'm in like the really really early beginning stage so that's my biggest goal is to i feel like i'm on this earth to enlighten others What's up the word I'm looking for? To help raise the vibration of this planet. Um, I know like this is kind of getting deep, but it's what it is. Like, I just feel like I'm here for that. And um, I also, other things besides that, um, I already said, I just want to help put on the people I love, take care of the people I love. And um, I also do want to model. That's something I just like to create. Anything that's creative, whether it's modeling making youtube videos drawing writing poetry like my goal is to be creative and just be successful at that and just live my best life yeah and that's the end of my questions um as my channel grows i'm gonna be doing like more and more um like get to know me things because i didn't like really go over everything like i don't know when i was born like stuff like that um so I'm going to be asking you guys as my channel grows, like, what do you want to know about? I could do like Q and A's and everything like that. And yeah. So before I like end this video out, I just want to take, um, I got this red candle and what red candles represent is love. And they all co also can re represent the, uh, elimination of negative attitudes or negative spirits. Um, it also represents passion and you know I just feel like with everything going on in the world I just want to light a candle for all of us like I know all of us our hearts are heavy at this moment and it's not easy especially for people like me that feel energy like literally this whole week and the week before that I've been feeling my heart my heart keeps dropping like I re a random uh, random times and there's nothing wrong with my heart medically I know I'm feeling the energy of what's going on and it's a lot it's a lot to handle in general so um, I just want to light this candle for everyone and send out some love and yeah like just send out some love so and protection send out love and protection especially protection for my people you know so I'm gonna go ahead and light this candle and I'm gonna end the video. And while I'm lighting it, you can say whatever you wanna say. You can say a prayer. You can call upon your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever you pray to, it doesn't matter. That's not the, that's not the point right now. Um, yeah.
Ashe, Amen, whatever you say. Thank you for participating in that. And I just, uh, you know, I'm going to leave this burning so it can continue to send out the energy that I put into it. And yeah. So I just want to say thank you for watching this video as well as um, my last one. I'm still trying to get <clears throat> comfortable with talking on camera and um you know it's kind of weird it's like damn girl like you low key in your room talking to yourself right now so um yeah thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video peace